In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Zotero to export annotations from PDFs or your other notes in Zotero into other systems like Obsidian, or you could even copy and paste things into Evernote or OneNote or whatever your preferred solution is. So you probably won't need this while you're reading books and taking notes from the printed page, but as you get into your thesis research, you will be coming across all kinds of electronic resources where being able to extract quotations and notes from those can be extremely helpful and very time uh, saving as opposed to you know hand transcribing or copy and pasting notes out of PDFs. So let me show you a workflow. The first thing we need to do in Zotero is install a plugin. That's one of the things that makes Zotero powerful is the library of plugins, or I think they call them add-ons, that are available. So if you go to zotfile.com, you'll get a screen like this. You can download, and this can do a number of things for you. It can help you manage your files. There's some stuff about iPad integration if you like to work that way. And what we want is the ability to extract annotations from PDF files. There's instructions there, but I'll walk you through it very quick. It's easy. If you go to Tools, Add-ons in Zotero, here is a list of all of my active integrations. You'll note the word integration we talked about in the footnotes video. Um, better bib text is if you're using LaTeX to write. We'll talk about MD notes in a minute. We can just go install add-on from file. There's my downloads. There's Zot file, and now we're up and running. Once you do that, you'll have a new option here. I'm going to find a paper by David Cunningham, Veto Players and Civil War Duration. I mentioned in a previous video that my preferred way of taking notes is highlighting. It allows me to focus my attention on the key ideas in a paper. Looks like all of mine are yellow. I eventually developed a color-coded system. But what I want to do is get these highlights out because these are things that I might use in a paper. The old way I did this was copying and pasting into a note file, which was very tedious and time consuming. And I'm embarrassed to admit, I only learned about the ability to extract highlights recently as I was thinking about doing these videos. And I, I can't believe how much time I've wasted, but this is great. I will save you that agony and, and show you how to do it. So you wanna highlight your PDF. Note that you don't wanna highlight the overall entry, just the PDF and right click, go to Manage Attachments, Extract Annotations. We'll get a little pop-up here that it's in the process of extracting. I'll also add that in addition to extracting highlights, this will extract other kinds of annotations like notes if you uh, add notes to PDFs. Now you'll see we've got a new entry under this article, Veto Players and Civil War Duration titled Highlights. And off here on the side, we have a nice collection of all of my highlights from the entire document. There's just one example. And this isn't always perfect because the way PDFs are written, sometimes they're hard to lift text out of. This is often relying on optical character recognition. You'll often see artifacts like what I have here. A bunch of words are stuck together without spaces, but that's easy to fix and certainly easier than having to hand type everything. Now, one way to get this out of here is just to copy it and paste it into your preferred note-taking system. If we were using Scrivener to take notes, as we demonstrated earlier, I could create a new note for Cunningham, and we'll just paste that in, boom. Everything's in one place for my paper to be written. And oh, there's also hyperlinks here, which I can click. And now I'm in my PDF from Zotero on that page. So this makes it super easy to go back and look at your original research. So you can use this with any note-taking system, this electronic, uh, Word, Evernote, whatever you'd like to use. If you use a text-based note system like Obsidian, there's another thing you can do that's even more powerful. So first we have to install another add-on called MD Notes. It's available on GitHub. 
comes as code. The download link is a little bit buried. We'll go down here to installation. You can grab the latest version of Zotero MD Notes here. There's the file, MD Notes. And we'll install this the same way we did before. Go back to Zotero, Tools, Add-ons, and click the gear, Install from File. Now we have MD Notes. You might recognize the MD as being a markdown, which we talked about in the earlier video on text-based note-taking systems. Now, the cool thing about a text-based note-taking system like Obsidian, again, your notes are just stored as plain text files. So you could create a note from anything, any app you want, and just save it in your vault directory, and it'll be available to you in Obsidian. So that's essentially what we're going to do with MD Notes. It will allow us to export all this as markdown text files, and we can configure MD Notes to export those right into our Obsidian vault, or if you're using a different app, wherever your notes are stored. If we go to Tools, MD Notes Preferences in Zotero, there's a few things that we can set here. Uh, I'm going to leave most of this default. I'll make sure the links are set to wiki style because that's how Obsidian treats hyperlinks. And all of my Obsidian notes are stored in my Dropbox Notes folder. And I went ahead and created a subfolder called Zotero to put all these in just because I don't fully trust the automation. Whoops. And want to just keep them separate from all my hand created notes. This also just helps me organize my, my many notes a little bit. And you can also create custom templates, which is beyond scope of this video, but it lets you set some of the formatting for how this exporting will be done. So I've, I have custom templates for how I want these notes to look. So now what we're going to do is go to our David Cunningham article. And this part's not totally intuitive, so you just got to kind of follow the steps. MD notes, expect, uh, sorry, create full export note. And what that will do is go through all the notes underneath this article and create an export. We'll go ahead and open. And now you'll notice this new markdown file, Cunningham Veto 2006. We want to do one more thing. We're going to go back to our overall reference, right click, MD notes and export to Markdown. And this is where it's not intuitive. The, the first action we did summarized all the highlights and notes in one file. The second thing we did there, export to Markdown, exports the bibliographic information in a different note. And these notes are linked. So now this these two files are already in my Obsidian vault. And I can go into Obsidian. And here they are. Cunningham Veto 2006. Zotero, I'm going to go ahead and Command E to switch to my HTML mode. And this was the note it generated from all the metadata. I've got the abstract and all the references. There's some nice links here, like a link to the PDF in my library. I can click that. It takes me right there. All right. And then what I'm going to do is go over to the other note where it put all of the highlights. And here is where I used a custom template. I have another plugin for Obsidian that makes these nice um, call out boxes. And I've structured my template so that every journal article export creates one called metadata that's closed by default. And if you look at the code, if you go back and remember what we talked about hyperlinking to one section of a note, you can use this exclamation point, double bracket, and then a hash, and it will reproduce one section of a note inside a different note. So I've done that for the meta, metadata and abstract from here. So now when I compile the note, those two things pop up in these neat little boxes. I've got my Zotero links. This links back to the, um, actually this is my own file here. And then all of my highlights have been pasted in here along with those hyperlinks we saw earlier in Zotero that take me right back to the article on the page. So this is pretty cool. All my notes are in Zotero and now I can start linking. This is an article about multi-sided war. So maybe I want to link this to strategy and multi-party wars. Um, this is relevant to strategy and multi-party wars. 
because wars with more sides are harder to resolve due to bargaining problems. Highlight of the article. Now, someday, a year from now, when I'm working on a project about multi-party wars, I can look at my backlinks and, oh, there's my link to David Cunningham. So as I'm refreshing my memory and trying to piece together ideas for an article, it'll take me right back to that quote in uh, my article. So in theory, you could do this exporting process for every note that you have um, in Zotero and sort of migrate all those highlights and notes into a note-taking system like Obsidian or Vault or others.